I bought this car when I was 17. It's my first car. Um, I've had it too many years that I care to remember. I used it for about 10 years as a daily driver, but it was never garaged. Uh, and as you do when you're 17, you don't particularly look after cars as you should. So as time went on, uh, I used it sparingly and it got forgotten about. I got a couple other projects that I got and this was kind of put in a garage and forgotten about. But a few years ago, I decided that I needed to restore the car. Hi, my name is Jason and this is my 1972 MGB GT. So about a year and a half ago we took the process of stripping the car back to, to a shell basically. The wings came off, the doors, took all the windscreens out, uh, replaced the inner wings, the sills, the castle sections, the rear wings and built the car back up. It's been quite a long and uh, labour of love process. Uh, when I got the car originally, it had uh, row style wheels on it, but we changed it to the, the wires, which I particularly like. Um, the color of the wires isn't maybe to everybody's choice. I, quite, I think it quite suits the car now. I, I want it to go for a dark, dark green, similar to the greens you find on like the, the late 50s and 60s, or 50s D types and C types. So we've gone for a very dark green, and I think the black complements it because when you look at the car, you can now tell it is a dark green. I always wanted an early a Mark I car, and this isn't a Mark I, but I wanted a Mark I. I like the period features of the Mark Ones. I like the rear lights on the car. I like the badges. So I've replicated that on this one. Um, I know that's, again, it's, it's maybe not what you should do, but it's my car and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, in the interior, we've done quite a lot. We've, uh, I really liked the early E-types with the running boards in the back, the luggage rack, so I've replicated that in the back of this one. Uh, a lot of time went into making the headline in, uh, which was a pain in the backside, but I'm happy with the result of it. Um, the dash, I, I, I coated everything on the front of the dash, so it's all colour coded. There's a lot still to be done to it. In the back of the car, I had a holster make a lot of custom panels for it. So there's a lot of stuff that's not stock, um, but it's it all adds to it. And there, but there's still things I'd like to do to it inside, but I'll live with it for a little while, see how we get on. And then as time goes on, I'll change things as I want to change them. About 20 years ago, I, uh, I put a gold seal unit into the car. So it's got a gold seal engine in the car. And I've, since then, I've put a fast road head onto it. So it's, it keeps up with modern traffic, absolutely no problem at all. Uh, I've probably done, I think it's been twice round the clock with me. So a couple of hundred thousand miles with me and I'm the eighth owner. So eight owners of the car before me, you can imagine it's probably, I don't know, maybe three, 400,000 miles, but that's what it's all about. It's about using them. It's about a little bit of history and I'm glad that I've got to be part of that history of the car and it's, uh, I think the MGB, especially the GT, in my opinion, is a really underrated car. I mean, enough, a lot of people turn their nose up at it and say, oh, it's just an MGB, but it's got classic lines. It really does stand on its own. It looks fantastic. Pininfarina's pen styled a real beauty. And if they made them in lower numbers, I think they made something like 125,000 uh, roughly MGBs. Um, if they made them in lower numbers, people would be clamouring over them because they are really beautiful cars. And I'm, I'm really, really over the moon with this. I've, got, I've really fallen back in love with it again. I'm, I'm dying to have some more adventures with it. I'd love to take it abroad. I'd love to take it to the Mealy Melia. Um, and it's just, it's such a good car to drive. It's never going to win any speed trials. It's never going to win any, you know, it's, but it's still great. It's got four gears. It's got its overdriving as well, which helps. It's like a fifth gear. And as I say, it keeps up with modern traffic absolutely perfectly. So I'm really chuffed with how it's come out. Uh, I'm chuffed with what I've done with it. And hopefully, as I say, I've had it for 35 years and hopefully in the next few years, I'm going to put a few more miles on it, a few more adventures and a few, uh, a lot more fun in it. So I hope you've, uh, hope you've enjoyed having a look at the car as much as I've enjoyed doing it. And thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.